This video should just be titled, I'm tired and everything is falling apart. Hi, I'm blue like fire. You're probably wondering, A, why I look like this, and B, why I had to stay up for 32 hours straight for a music video. I wonder that too. But before you flick away, I know what you're thinking. I don't want to hear about your Vegas girls trip slash music video shoot gone wrong. And I swear on my teddy bear that this would have been way more fun if it happened in Vegas next to a pool. But unfortunately, it started in my mom's basement in a human-sized fish tank. Kind of a weird family bonding experience. So far, with my parents' help, I have made four music videos that all string together to tell the story of why I look like this. And in those videos, I've been abducted, had my eyes burnt out, almost drowned in that tank, and finally, in the new video that I'm going to tell you about, I just found my new outfit in some random person's truck. Fancy. Each piece of my look represents something that has helped me on my mental health journey, and together they represent the ideal version of myself that I am striving to be. So it's like, important to me or whatever. Which is hard to remember when I'm sitting in a tank that's about to burst. Oh my god, did you hear that? I did. I'm in deep sh but I've already told that story. So if you're too lazy to go watch it, too bad because I'm just giving you the Cliff Notes version. For my previous song called Shark Cage, I wanted a tank that would be big enough to hold me and fill with water over the top of my head so that I could go into the tank as a blonde and with movie magic, make it look like it dyed my hair like this. I can't just undye and re-dye my hair. So we had to shoot Shark Cage and then Moth to Lightning in chronological order. Order, which is the music video that I'm going to tell you about now. And due to a bunch of circumstances that are way too boring to get into, we only had a two day time window to get these music videos filmed. The plan was to film the first part of the Shark Cage music video in the afternoon on the first day. Then after that, I would dye the hair in the evening. Then the next day, we would get up early and film the music video for my new song, Moth to Lightning. Sounds reasonable right? That is what I thought. While filming the Shark Cage music video, the tank burst and started gushing water everywhere. My parents scrambled to get the final shot we needed, but the tank wasn't full enough and we only had time for one take. And if you're wondering, that take wasn't very good. We had no idea if it would be possible to fix that tank and film the second half of that music video. And if we couldn't, then Shark Cage wouldn't have a music video. So the Moth to Lightning music video that we were filming the next day wouldn't make any sense. I felt so defeated. But we still had to film Moth to Lightning tomorrow, even without knowing for sure if I would be able to use that footage. But I couldn't just sit around and feel sad. I had to just push it to the side and go dye that hair and hope that everything would work out. So I dyed and dyed and dyed until the sun came up. It's 7.15 a.m. It started yesterday at around... I five, maybe four. I got maybe one and a half hours of sleep before I had to get up and put in these soup bowl sized contacts and rally the troops to start filming. We had my mom there to do the filming, my dad to act as the creep. And you see that cute elderly woman with the camera? That's my grandma filming all the behind the scenes footage for the day. Remember that. At this point, I'm so tired that I can't even articulate my thoughts correctly. Same spot. No, because it needs to be in a different Different angle. Just like different place. I couldn't keep track of anything and that caused a lot of problems down the road. But for now, the day seemed to be going well. We're following the script. It's not too cold out. So even though I'm basically naked, I'm not cold. But you know how your eyes sometimes get dry when they're tired? That was happening to me in full force. And I'm sure you can probably imagine how uncomfortable that is with these huge contact lenses. My eyes hurt, I'm half asleep, and everyone is moving 
way too freaking slow. My mom does an amazing job filming these music videos, but she, like me, is a total perfectionist, which means that she has to know exactly how I want everything done. And I'm so tired that I can't even effectively explain how to brush your teeth. And I do that every day. So naturally, my dad decided to take over and we completely left everyone in the dust. We had to jump this fence and we were expecting everyone to follow, but no one did. I mean, I guess the older you get, the harder it gets to climb a barbed wire fence. Blah, 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 excuses, excuses. But I was like, it's fine. Grandma's been recording all day. We probably have more than enough behind the scenes footage. So we finished the music video on our own and I got to go home and sleep soundly for like 12 hours, thinking that all was right in the world, but I was wrong. Fast forward seven months and I've finally gotten around to editing the music video. It quickly became obvious to me that we didn't have even close to enough footage for me to finish the video. So I started making a plan of some scenes that we could add. But in the meantime, I decided to track down the behind the scenes videos so that I could start editing those. So I asked my mom to send me the videos. What do you mean you deleted them? I asked you if I could delete them. What do you mean? No, you didn't! Yes, I did! <laughs> so I have nothing to make this behind the scenes video. <laughs> so hopefully I was able to cobble this together and make it an entertaining. If not, I'm sorry. But after filming a few new scenes for the music video with my dad, it ended up turning out great. All the frustration and lack of sleep and pushing through the fear of things not working out was totally worth it. So I guess the moral of the story is don't pull all-nighters if you can help it and don't expect your 80-year-old grandparents to climb barbed wire fences. Oh, and probably most importantly, stick with it, even if it gets difficult. Things can still work out for the best, even if it doesn't seem like they will. Thanks for watching.